I'm at the Venice Biennale in the British Pavilion, which this year has been handed over to the Turner Prize winning artist Jeremy Della, who just happens to be with me right now. Jeremy, hello. Hello. You've had this whole pavilion to decorate and design. Yes. What have you done? I've created an, an exhibition called English Magic, and there's six rooms which are all sort of interlinked. There's a lot of painting in the show, a lot of old objects, Stone Age objects, historical objects, and uh, provocative things. Provocative is the word, because over here we've got a, a hen harrier, a bird of prey, with a Range Rover in its talons, which is... No, that has some political overtones, isn't it? Well, not so much political. I mean, it's related to a story about two of these birds. It's super rare birds being shot out of the sky over the Sandringham estate, and um, Prince Harry was questioned about this incident, but charges were not pursued against him. So there's a bit of a question mark over this event, but they're very rare birds, and this is a giant bird coming back to, to get its revenge on mankind, really. And you're no fan of Range Rovers, is that right? No, I'm a cyclist, and this painting is actually called A Good Day for Cyclists because Range Rovers are big dangers on the roads for cyclists. OK, well, if we wander past these Stone Age axe heads and move over to this mural here, which is extraordinary, what, what's this? Well, this, this refers to a fictitious event that's going to happen in the future, in 2017, when um, British taxpayers are going to go to St Helier to demonstrate against the tax policies and banking policies of uh, the Channel Islands, and they accidentally burn the, the town down. So it's like a medieval sacking of the town. So it's a depiction of this of the town being burnt down, and uh, these banners are, are banners for the movement that that is this, this, this anti-tax avoidance movement. So lots of political overtones. Lots, lots of messages about capitalism is bad, socialism is better. But that strikes me. It's called English mysticism. It's got William Morris featured in it, who was a founding father of the, of the labour movement. Yes. Yes, but not all capitalism is bad, but there's elements to it which are rogue, and I think they are, probably are quite bad, and there's elements that cause a lot of uh, disruption around the world. So it's, it's about those, those things. Jeremy, is it a nerve-wracking thing, being the artist representing a country at the Venice Biennale? No, this is nerve-wracking. <laughs> but doing the show is actually quite relaxing. It's actually a really great thing to do, to have this platform. It's a great honour, so I'm very happy to be doing it. And it's called English mysticism? English magic. Okay. It's called English magic because there's good magic and there's bad magic. And so there's the magic of deception and de deceit and hiding things and so on and uh, confusing people. But also there's magic, there's the magic of wonderment and beauty. And I hope it has to show us both those things in it. Jeremy, thank you very much. Well, this exhibition will be on in Venice for several months to come. So should you wish to come along and see some English magic, here it will be.